these buildings behind me were not built in the normal fashion, but were actually printed out by a 3D printer. This printing method was developed by a private inventors. The ten standalone one-story houses look normal at first sight, but the walls are made up of layers of construction waste and cement instead of brick and mortar. However, technological limitations prevented the building's roofs from being printed. The buildings will serve as offices at a high-tech industrial park in Shanghai. We visited the company's workshop in Shanghai's neighboring city of Suzhou to find out precisely how the buildings were printed. The walls are primarily made out of material refined from construction waste and mixed with cement. The wall structure was scrupulously designed to ensure soundness and practicality. The printer used to make the walls was designed and made by inventor Ma Yihe. His company and research center are all made out of 3D printed walls. It took about a month for him to build his office, which covers an area of over 10,000 square meters. Ma said a 3D printing assembly line usually consists of four printers. He added that the new technology is cost-effective and environmentally friendly. To obtain natural stones, we need mining, digging up blocks of stones, and sewing them into pieces. The whole mining and manufacturing process is damaging our environment badly. But with 3D printing, we are not polluting the environment. Instead, we are recycling materials, and by using a special treatment, we can turn them into materials like this. We can provide building materials according to the customer's needs. Any thickness in any color in large sizes is fast and cheap. Ma has been researching 3D printing for 12 years. He believes his technology can change the way people think about housing and construction. With 3D printing, in the future, we can build good buildings with reliable materials and without waste. Waste from the demolished buildings, industrial waste. Or even my tillings can be used to build structures with our recycling treatment. This will ensure a healthier work environment for construction workers, as well as reduce construction costs. Ma said his technology still needs to be improved. He added that he hopes 3D printing can be used to build skyscrapers in the future.